and welcome to another episode of AWSP's News You Can Use. We'd like to thank you for the great feedback on our news program, which we use to keep you informed and engaged in a digital statewide professional learning network. This PLN is only as strong as you make it, so please keep sending us those items that, are mo that you are most proud of in your school. Keep them coming, just like this cool idea from the admin team at Stillicum High School. In an effort to increase consistency and quality of instructional rounds, they have turned to poker chips. Every teacher's name is written on a chip in a bowl in the office. They sit down once per week, draw a chip from the bowl, and build their schedule of team observations. They even built a Google form that they use on their phones to collect observation data. Brilliant. Check out the Rockstar team from Stillicum High School for more information and details. Tell them AWSP sent you. In advocacy news, the hills are alive with the sound of education-related bills, ranging from principal coaching, school nurses, K-3 suspensions, full funding, and medical marijuana. House Bill 1509 would eliminate the 24-credit graduation requirement starting with the class of 2019 and replace it with a 21-credit graduation requirement. In an era of education reform, increasing standards, and an eye on accountability, this move looks like it trends in the wrong direction. Supporters of the bill argue that removing a required English, science, and arts credit provides flexibility in the system. It also releases the pressure of every class needing to be passed in order to meet a graduation requirement. We believe increased flexibility should not come with reduced expectations. Districts like Kelso, Sunnyside, and Bellingham, among others, have redefined the traditional high school experience by investing the time, energy, and resources to completely change their structure. Confined bell schedules with limited flexibility for kids are a thing of the past, replaced by vibrant, personalized experiences full of opportunities for all kids. Want to get in touch with your legislators and see where we stand on other issues? Check out our new Advocacy and Action Center on our website, where you can see key issues, track bills, and take action by commenting on legislation. Are you looking for a great professional learning experience? Join us and K-12 principals from across the United States at the first ever Join NAESP and NASSP conference in Philadelphia, July 9th through 11th. We are excited that our two national associations are coming together to provide opportunities for K-12 principals for professional learning and networking. Don't miss out. Let's flood Philly with educators from all over Washington. Other conferences uh, to add to your calendar include the Equity Conference May 24th in SeaTac and the AWSP WASA Summer Conference in Spokane June 25th through 27th. As you know, both events fill fast, so don't delay putting your teams together and register today. Raise your hand if you've asked for feedback from your staffalty and students about your leadership. No, seriously, raise your hand. Have you modeled reflective learning by seeking their input and feedback about you as their learning leader? Do you need an example of principal feedback survey? We've got several tools we've developed to help principals like you model professional growth and learning with your staffalty and students. The time is now to solicit that feedback. Speaking of timing, we believe strongly that February is the month when you make big decisions about what you want your school to look like next year. I'm going to ask you a question, and I want you to hit pause on this video and write down your answer. I'm serious. Here's the question. What is something that is non-negotiable for you next year in your, in your building? When you picture the culture of your school, systems that support that culture, and what learning looks like, what are you committed to changing for next year? Hit pause and write it down. All freeze in an awkward state. Looking for a way to keep more kids in your school instead of leaving for running start? College in the high school is a great option that gives students and families access to college-level rigor and credits without the pressure and anxiety of testing often associated with AP. The application window is now open for teachers to become approved to teach one of the many programs available in our state. The UW High School and College in the High School application deadline is April 24th. A big shout out to my friend Christina Bellamy in the Renton School District for a conversation we were having about leading equity. As we continue to carry our schools through this political landscape that is our new reality, are you leading safe conversations or brave conversations with students and staff? We'd love to hear how you are leading brave conversations in your school community. Related to the new political landscape, many of you might be looking for resources on issues surrounding immigration, undocumented students, and the free and reduced price lunch application. We've been compiling sample letters, policies, and FAQs on our website for you on a dedicated resource page. 
Well, that's a mouthful from here for us. Ah, see, I even screwed that up. That's a mouthful here from us at the NMSB. See you next time. And as always, keep up the great work for kids. Do you want a different ending? Hello and welcome to another episode. See, boom, boom. Got that out of the way. Which we used to keep, who wrote this? Which we used to keep you informed. Oh, I wrote it. Oh, you know what's messing me up? Stand there. It's the shirt. What? Your shirt. <laughs> it's totally messing me up. I'm not kidding. It's the first Dude, I've never been messed up by your shirt before, but look what you wore. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't be messed up with those stripes behind the screen? Woo! <laughs> Damn it, Jim. Oh, it's doing so well. <laughs> there it is. That is so funny. Okay. Hope you're ready for the next episode. Hey.